WRX heard what? Yep, you can see that. This is the new one. It comes with the scoops, the vents, and everything. And it's also blue. What happened is, remember the hood that we had, and we had it wet sanded and everything, ready for paint? Well, that was the original hood. Well, not the original, original from the donor car. That was the normal one. It doesn't have any uh, scoops whatsoever. I traded in for this one. I paid 150 on top of it and I got this one. I would say it's a good deal because at the end of the day these ones normally they go for easy easy uh, 250 and above so I got a pretty good deal. Now it has some work to be done you see over here these are the hood latches or hood uh, pins they call them this is basically to replace the whole uh, hood latch itself so you just have a pin what I need to do, I need to get this one sorted out and fixed. I need this one to be painted and this one also to be painted. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. I've already uh, stripped the hood before, so this should be pretty much the same concept. You just uh, unbolt all the bolts from the inside or from the back. There you go, it's pretty straightforward. Unbolt them, get them all out, wet sand it from the inside and make it ready for paint. Uh, once that is done, then we can move on to God knows what. We've got plenty of things. We can never finish everything in one go, so we've got plenty of things. What I have in mind, I'm thinking if I can get these dents sorted out and hopefully get this one painted. I ended up buying this uh, thing. Auto body repair kit. You see? So you've got the proper proper hammers and you've got the dollies the dollies they're just basically metal items or metal objects in shape you've got the straight one you've got the bent one you've got the round one it depends on the contour of the body that you need to work on so basically you put the dolly on the back and hammer it from the outside that way you'll have some sort of a base and it hits it so that it wouldn't concave on the other side uh, as for this one I'm not gonna get it sorted out yet or at least I'll do something behind the scenes uh, this part needs to be patched up again remember we do not have a welding machine nor we're experts in welding to begin with uh, I bought some metal sheet what I'm thinking is to put the metal sheet from the back and use my trusty epoxy into fixing it once that is done it should uh, seal it properly a bit of a mudding a bit of a, a, a what do you call it uh, sanding and all and it should be as good as new this one on the other hand well it is ready all what i need to do is basically put it back but like i said before i need to paint the uh, corners of the hood from the inside in order to put that one on uh, let's get to that let me just situate it because i've got one final thing that i need to do into it in order to make it 100 percent ready so let's get with that okay so we flip the trunk to the normal position just so that we can work on it this is our uh, spoiler or tail spoiler they call it and this is where basically it needs to sit it's more like a very fresher kind of thing uh, what we need to do you see this one this is what they call it the third brake light or the uh, basically spoiler light and this is the wire that goes into it I don't know if you paid attention we've only drilled two holes in each side to install this one we didn't drill the third hole now why do we need to drill the third hole in order to hook it up in order to get this one sorted out what we need what's the one thing that we need to do in order to get it sorted out huh yeah wire did you see what I did there did you see what I did there? If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, go watch it, then you'll understand, okay? We need to drill a hole for the wire to go inside. Now, once it goes inside, it can go through the whole exoskeleton of the body and goes through the hinges, and I can easily attach it or, or uh, hot wire it into the actual brake light. That way, each time you uh, press the brake pedal, 
the brake lights will switch on plus the third light easy fix just a small drill just when you drill that make sure to have a proper opening from the back so most likely it's going to be this one that way you can get the wire out and move it accordingly uh we've done it before just small drill and you're good to go so you don't need to worry about that i'll get that sorted out then i'll just move it out of the way so that we can move on to something else okay quick update as you can clearly see the back screen is fully masked you know why because the plan is we need to wet sand this area and paint it and hopefully if we can paint this one this one is going to be painted as well because if you look at it this is the actual hinge for the bath for the boot once we get that sorted out then hopefully we can install the trunk back into position now what am i planning to paint i'm planning to paint this area this whole channel and slightly over here like i'm not fussed here as much because at the end of the day uh, i can redo it later if needs be but this the channel itself it needs to be painted basically asap why because once i put the trunk in it's going to be a little bit hard for me to do that so i figured might as well just do it now before i start uh, painting the whole car uh, this area i may not need to paint it because remember you've got this one basically covers it all up plus it requires a lot of masking so maybe i'm not let's give it a go uh, the process is we need to start with wet sanding once wet sanding is done, we make sure that it's uh, complete. And once it's complete, wax grease remove and we're good to go. Let's go with that. All right, boys and girls, wet sanded and cleaned with the soap. You see how I just sanded everything? You can clearly tell here how the paint is showing, the primer, the original primer. So that means it's properly sanded. This area over here, whilst it may look crusty and old, trust me, it's smooth and I've sanded it properly and thoroughly. The plan is once it's done, and this is the other side, apologies, the sun may not give you proper view. Yeah, and even this whole channel all clean. The plan is once it dries, I'll put, uh, uh, what do you call it, wet and grease uh, uh, removal and uh, hit it with the primer over here just to, to protect it once that is done then we can go with the paint i'm not going to paint it now because i need to put it inside the garage i don't want the element to uh, impact the perfection of the paint so let's just leave it outside for now uh, work on uh, something else i don't know let's work on the fenders and see how that goes well i started with the hood i didn't start with the fenders I removed all the plastic trims and pieces, even the hood latch. Everything is completely removed. Now, because it's blue, technically I don't need to paint it. But then again, because of the color is going to be a bit different, I figured mine as well. So the plan is, once I removed everything, I'm going to wet sand this one, just like what we did the last time, and uh, paint it. These are the uh, hood vents. And pieces and check what I found I found LED strobe light in there isn't that just weird like why would you put LED light over there beats me I don't know removed everything the hood is in a pretty good condition some items are missing you see over there the scoops this is for the right side this is from the inside uh, it clearly says the R for right so this is for the right. For the left side, it's missing. Sucks, I didn't see that, but it's all right, no problem, because at the end of the day, this is from the inside. You don't need to worry about it. I put all the uh, bolts that I got them out, I put them back in to the same place. That way I wouldn't lose them, everything. So the plan is, whilst we're still waiting for that to dry out just a bit, because if I'm gonna paint it, I'm gonna paint it inside. And if I'm gonna paint it inside, I need to get this one outside. So the plan is, I need to get this one out, start washing it and start cleaning it clean up the mess over here so that i can bring the car inside and paint the trunk uh, channels and everything from the inside okay now that the car inside and all the panels wet sanded and completely dry the plan now is wet grease clean it all up finally and because it's inside we can easily paint it I'm gonna put you in time lapse 
and we'll just see how that goes, okay? Check how dirty. Look. And I had to fold it and use the other side, and this is the other side. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna wax and grease remove it again, just to be safe. And I'll apply some primer into the corners over there, just like we said. And on the hinges themselves, let it dry just a bit. Then go ahead with the actual paint, okay? See? I applied it all on the corners and everything and from the inside and from over here because there was some rust left over or whatever and this is the other side all clean now one of you might ask why did you mask only the screen you didn't mask the car well basically this whole car needs to be painted so I couldn't care less if there's an overspray as for the inside, I'll keep in mind, I might actually put the cotton uh, thingy that I got over here just to protect it. Apart from that, everything should be ready to go. So let's hit it with that once it dries, once it dries, okay? Not bad, not bad at all. Granted, it needs another coat, but look at it. Nothing is reacting, everything is perfect. And from all sides, check how clean this looks. And even the channel, spot on, spot on. You know what? It was a good idea that I kept the car outside because you know what happened? It got baked just a bit, so it became a bit hot. And that's good, so when you paint it, uh, it, it just, dries it out even faster look look over here you can clearly tell the difference between the old color which is this one and the new color which is that one new color is far much better far much better i'll wait until it dries then i'll just hit it with another coat just so that i can make sure that i've covered all the bases and basically that leaves us with perfect perfect inner trunk we'll leave it till dry Go ahead and tackle the hood, wet sand it. I've already started that, but since I'm waiting for this one to dry, I figured I might as well just do that, okay? Just a quick update, see how it's drying up? You see how the reflection, you can see the difference between this color and that color, which is awesome, yeah. It's drying out uh, perfectly. Uh, barely there is any bubbling or uh, orange peel. The only thing that I can see is right over here. Can you see it? Yep. This is what they call it, orange peel. Basically, the paint itself is reacting. That only means it hasn't been properly cleaned or sanded. There's some contaminants underneath, and that's why it reacted. Don't worry about it. This area, I've only painted just extra. My concern was this channel itself, because it's gonna be super hard for me to paint it, plus the actual hinge. Uh, in case if you noticed, I put those rags over here. This is basically in case of overspray. It protects the liners, so I don't need to worry about them. And there you have it. This is also the hood ha latch. It's already been painted with the matte black. And let's go outside just to see the update. Yep, it's a sunny day. You can clearly tell how it looks. You can see how everything is scratched and sanded, except this area and this area. You can see the difference because I haven't finished yet. I'm still, it's a, it's a process at the end of the day. Uh, let's uh, get back to it and wrap it up and see how that goes, okay? Okay, done wet sanding all over the place and washed it as well. Now I'm just leaving it outside to dry just a bit. Meanwhile, the paint inside is completely dried dry to a point where not only you can touch it you can actually install the trunk back again this is the trunk we put all the plastic thingies all the rubber bushings that needed to be there one here one here one here one here and the trunk drain uh, plastic thingies and we even installed this one with the screw with the latch with everything all what we need to do now is just 
put it there and bolt it back together. I'm gonna put you in a time lapse and see if we can get it sorted out, okay? Ta-da! There you go. The trunk is on. Everything is fine. And I had to adjust the gaps and everything. Perfect and identical. And once you open it, there you go. Look how shiny and clear it looks. And it matches the channel and everything. This is how it should be. Perfect job. Let's back up, park the car properly, get the hood inside. So guys, now that we finished painting the trunk and from the inside and pretty much everything, we can focus on the hood, the doors and the door jams and hopefully the fender as well. Uh, the project is getting a bit slow because the, the new apprentice that I decided to take on wasn't much of a help. Uh, Havana. Yep. She's good for nothing. She just eats and sleeps and that's about it. Sadly. Anyways, uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe, lay a like and share, and until I see you next time, yalla. Yeah,